Have you ever wondered how biometric authentication systems work? It's a question that puzzles many, yet it's at the heart of our daily lives. Biometric authentication, as the name suggests, is a security process that leans on the unique biological features of an individual to verify their identity. It's like your body's own personal password, a secret code written in the lines of your thumb, the pattern of your iris, or the contours of your face. Imagine a world where you don't have to remember complex passwords or carry around cumbersome keys. That's the world biometric authentication is creating. From fingerprint scanning that unlocks your smartphone, to iris recognition that grants you access to high security areas, and facial recognition that personalizes your digital experiences, biometric authentication is shaping the future of security in ways we could only dream of a few years ago. So, how does this fascinating technology function? Let's dive in. Understanding the process of biometric authentication starts with the first step, enrollment. Imagine you're about to use a new smartphone for the first time. To set up the biometric authentication, the system first needs to know who you are. This stage is called enrollment. It's during this phase that the system captures your unique biometric data, be it your fingerprint, your iris pattern, or the sound of your voice. Let's say you're setting up fingerprint recognition. You'll place your finger on the sensor, and the system will capture the unique patterns and ridges of your finger. This raw data is then converted into a digital format that the system can understand, creating what is known as your biometric template. Once your biometric template is created, the system moves on to the second step, storage. This is where your digital data is securely stored in the system. It's important to note that this stored data is heavily encrypted to ensure your biometric details remain confidential and protected from potential threats. Now, the next time you use your device and place your finger on the sensor, the system springs into action. This brings us to the third and final step, comparison. At this stage, the system captures your biometric data once again, just like during the enrollment phase. It then converts this new data into a digital format, creating a temporary biometric template. The system now has two templates, the one from the enrollment phase and the temporary one it just created. It's time for the system to do some matching. It compares the temporary template with the stored template from the enrollment phase. If the two match, congratulations, you've been authenticated and you can access your device. If they don't, access is denied. So in essence, biometric authentication is a three-step dance of enrollment, storage, and comparison. It's an intricate process that ensures only you can access your device, providing an extra layer of protection in an increasingly digital world. That's the basic process, but what makes each biometric unique? Let's find out. What makes your biometrics unique? Well, the answer lies in the intricate details of your body's physical and behavioral characteristics. Let's take fingerprints, for example. No two fingerprints are the same, not even in identical twins. That's because the ridges and valleys on your fingertips form unique patterns that are determined by a combination of genes and environmental factors during fetal development. Next, let's consider the iris of your eye, the colored ring around your pupil. It contains a complex mix of shapes and patterns, much like a snowflake. No two irises are identical, making it an excellent tool for identity verification. And then, of course, there are facial features. The structure of your face is a complex combination of bone structure, skin texture, and muscle formation, all of which contribute to a unique facial profile. This uniqueness is what makes biometric authentication so secure. So, now that we know how unique our biometrics are, what happens when the system needs to verify them? Verification is the final piece of the biometric puzzle. It's the moment of truth where the system puts your unique biometric data to the test. Imagine it like a bouncer at a VIP club, meticulously checking the guest list before letting anyone in. In this case, the guest list is the stored data from your initial biometric scan. This could be your fingerprint, your iris pattern, or even the unique way you walk. The system takes the fresh biometric data it just captured and starts comparing. It's a high-stakes game of spot the difference, with your access hanging in the balance. If the system finds a match, it's a green light. You're authenticated and granted access. If not, access is denied, keeping the system secure. And that's how the magic of biometric authentication happens, making our digital world more secure, one scan at a time.